Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog. Listen, I just read a very depressing article that I'm going to share. Um, the average person, I think over 55, has an income of $19,000. Yeah, it was pretty sad. But it was in this particular part of California. It was saying these people were too old to work, but too young to die. So they had to keep working. And I want to stress to you and stress to your parents and stress to your family. I know people are like, well, I don't want my kids to have the burden of college student loan debt. I'm sorry. Like, you can't go into your 40s and your 50s, you know, caring for grown adults. Why? Because then that shortens your life. You know, that shortens the ability for you to earn income and put income away. Now, um, there's a lot of other articles talking about how high income earners, people making $100,000, which is one in five Americans at this point, um, are making a hundred thousand but not saving any money either and so we have to kind of peel back on the cars peel back on the vacations peel back somewhere or really examine what our w-4 looks like and what our taxes look like to go oh that's where my money's going and if you don't believe me pick up your paycheck or look it online as you know most people have direct deposit look at the check and it'll say look at the uh stub part and it'll say gross net that's how much money you're losing. That's why a lot of people join different uh, MLMs such as MyEcon, help you with your taxes and other uh, companies. But the point of this is, look, that sucks to be 75 years old and having to work at McDonald's or just having to work somewhere you don't want to be. Now, work is good. Now, if you feel like you're going to live to be 90 and you want to keep working, keep working. I don't mind those stories of people who want to work. I'm just sad about the stories of people who have to work when they've spent their whole lives. And people say, well, I didn't have a million dollars to invest in retirement. But you did. If you even if you made 20, 30,000 a year for 50, 60 years, you had more than a million dollars. OK, you have more than a million. And, and and we really have to start taking accountability and responsibility for ourselves. I know people are loving Bernie Sanders, loving Hillary Clinton, but it's it's a mirage. People, it's, it's not you, these people can't take care of you. Even if taxes were 90% on everybody, which is the working class, because trust me, rich business owners and people who own businesses, they're going to keep shuffling that game. They're going to keep moving those taxes around as much as possible. So good luck thinking you're going to tax them at 90%. Most companies are, are uh, U.S. companies are in Bermuda anyway. I mean, you can look it up for yourself. Look up Bermuda. How many U.S. companies are in Bermuda? How many U.S. companies are in Delaware? Check that out. It, it, Google it for yourself. But I don't want you having to work to 90 years old at McDonald's, shifting fries, if you don't want to. I want you to simply just put away $200 a month, 10% interest for the next 40 years. And people go, Erica, that's not money, that's not enough money, that's not enough money. Listen, Linda, by the time you're 50, 60, you should have pared back a lot of your lifestyle. And I don't mean stop living well, I mean stop getting a brand new car every two years stop moving to a brand new house every five years there's some things financially people do and they know it doesn't make any sense if you drove a car for 10 years you'd be amazed oh wait the car's paid off in four and now i don't have this car debt trust me i meet people who are paying 800 dollars a month for their vehicle and then they're paying an additional 274 dollars for insurance that's a thousand dollars a thousand dollars a month that they are pissing out of the window on a car. I don't care if you make fifty thousand. I don't care if you make sixty thousand. I don't care if you make seventy thousand. When you do that, and later you look back and life, you go, man, that was really stupid. It really was. You could buy a whole house for that. That could be your second rental property at that rate. So look, this is Erica, Classy Climb blog. I don't want you guys to be cat ladies. Definitely Google the Classy Climb School. You guys have a great day.